everyone, Kate is here and welcome to this new video. Today we're gonna have a short and quick tutorial, so please, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, don't forget to do so. Okay, Jet Engine has just been recently updated to 2.4.7 version and it brought us a really nice surprise. From now on, we have a possibility to edit our dynamic listing items straight from the listing grid widget. Amazing, isn't it? So let's hop into the Elementor to see how this feature works. Okay, so as you can see, this is the homepage of our car dealer dynamic website template. And it is full of different listing grids. Smaller ones and bigger ones with lots of info like this one or with just some basic data to be shown on the front end. So let's go back to the top. And for example, this listing grid is a taxonomy listing for the types of transport that are available on the website. This one is another taxonomy listing, but for the popular car brands taxonomy. If we scroll a bit down, we will see the listing grid with the main listing item that pulls the data from the post type ads, where all the posts with the vehicles are located to the front end. So let's go back to the top and pretend that I need to add it the listing item of this listing grid. So what would I need to do in this case before? Yes, I would have to go back to the dashboard. Okay, let's open it in a new tab. Good. So I would have to go to Jet Engine, Listings, search for the corresponding listing and added it with Elementor. Only after that, I would have access to the dynamic widgets of the listing item. I could drag them around, you know, place it on top or on the bottom. I could style them differently or I could add dynamic widgets to it if I want to. But as you already know, guys, our developers are always in search for new solutions you know, to help you build your websites, complete your projects faster and, of course, with less struggle. So right now, let's close this window and I will show you how we can do the editing procedure of the listing item in even an easier way. Right now, you have the possibility to edit the listing item within your listing grid. So you can click on this yellow button and Right now, you can change the positioning of the widgets in the listing grid. You can add new widgets to it. So, for example, right now, I will add dynamic field right underneath the cars and the source will be the same. I will change the object field to posts count. And there we go. We see the number of posts under this category. Right now, let's change the positioning to center. And also let's change the margin as well to, let's say, 15. Okay, good. So to save the changes, we need to press on the same button and click on the save right here. Give it a minute to load and there we go. Our listing grid has been changed and right now it looks a bit different. Let's do the same procedure, but to a different listing item for example, for the recent ads. So to add this item, we have to click on the yellow button one more time, give it a minute to load, good. So right now we have the dynamic image that is linked to the permalink of the post and we have dynamic link widget that also allows us uh, to open the post once we click on it. But I want to make the whole listing item clickable. For that, let's go to the settings, open listing settings and click on make listing item clickable. There we go. And also I would like to add more widgets to it. So let's search for the dynamic field widget, place it underneath and change the source to metadata 
change the meta field to engine capacity, for example. And also, I would like to upload our personal SVG icon to it, not the one from the default library. Okay, so click here and insert the media. Wonderful. Right now, I would also like to customize the field output. So let's make it like this. Good. And let's go back to the styling tab to change the gap between the icon and the text. Let's make it six. No, let's make it seven. Good. And also change the margin over here to 20. No, 20 is too much. Let's make it 18. Good. And change the positioning as well, because I want uh, these widgets to be in the same line. So let's make it custom. And let's make it, oh, that's too much, maybe 159. Okay, let's check how it looks. Yeah, I think 59 should be fine in this situation. Okay, so right now uh, we can either search for new widget or duplicate this one. Good, so the source will be the same metadata. Meta field will be transmission change the SVG icon to a different one. Let's make it this one, insert the media, and also remove the custom field output. Okay, good. So as you can see, it looks pretty nice. Right now, let's go back and save the changes. And now let's preview the results right on our website. So let's go to the car dealer refresh the page. There we go. So let's scroll a bit down. Here's our types of transport with uh, the number of posts that are under each category. And let's scroll down to our recent ads. There we go. So we see that these widgets have been added, which is good. And also we can see that the whole listing item right now is clickable. So if I click over here on this blank space, for example, it will open the corresponding post, which is good. Simple and easy, right? Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if so, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to our channel and leave your comments below. Ask your questions and we will be glad to answer. Share your ideas and awesome suggestions on our GitHub page and join our friendly Facebook community. Cheers, guys!